<laughs> I think that we're gonna have ourselves a 90% complete everything done and then we'll go from there. I feel like it's my first time on an airplane. Oh my God, look at this right here. And for the third time in our respective travels, we can say we're back in Morocco. I love those shoes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is done by hand and it's really thick and you said the machine can never do this. And then this is done by a machine. We make slippers of leather chicken. No, you do not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't say that with there are many things that our family can be accused of. Taking too many risks, being overly dramatic, and yes, not being true vegetarians. And just was trying her, her fish burger for the first time. What kind of fish is it? <laughs> I think it's cod. Okay, good. But the one thing that we can never be accused of is being quitters, except for the vegetarian thing. But let's move on from that. In 2020, COVID changed the way that we thought about travel. And while we were stuck in Japan, all of our plans for travel were thrown out the window, including our 2020 group trip to Morocco. So instead, we returned to France, bought friendship, learned how to sail, and crossed an ocean. It seems kind of confusing when you're in there, but if you look at it from here, it's just a right and a left. Now, two years later, we are finally able to get back to normal travel. Join us as we return to Morocco to prepare for our next World Towning Voyages group trip and get reacquainted with the magic of this amazing place. How many Morocco videos do we have, Will? We have like 30 Morocco videos. Just to get the whole world to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Thank you so much to our patrons whose support make these episodes possible. So less than 24 hours and we're gonna have two friends on the boat and in 36 hours, we're getting off the boat to go host the Morocco trip. Woo! -hoo! And this place is a disaster. I love it. This is like the calm before the storm. No, sorry, the storm before the calm. Is there any, <laughs> wait, wait, I think it's the storm before the other storm because we're, we're getting all this stuff done here so that when we leave the boat, it's 100% done. And then we can go let our friends enjoy a nice pleasant stay. And then we can go to Morocco, host a great group trip, and then come back and celebrate the holidays. So, in a perfect world. In a perfect world. Which the boating world is not a perfect world. <laughs> I think that we're gonna have ourselves a 90% complete everything done, and then we'll go from there. Hi, you guys. We love getting on flights, so even though there's been a lot of flights lately, I'm still super excited. I feel like it's my first time on an airplane. So we're flying from Columbia to Amsterdam on this monster plane right over here. And then we got two more hops over then to Paris and then over to Marrakesh, which we're gonna start. But oh my God, look at this right here. <laughs> now I'm not going to complain about how exhausted we were getting to this trip, but when you get to your seat and push the wrong language button on your seat back entertainment system, this is what happens. Sorry? How do I change it to... Oh, it's in uh, Chinese. Yeah. Oh. He wants to learn it, I don't think he wants to learn it. Yeah, but it's not a good day. Yeah. He's all tired today. Uh, languages. Ah, uh, languages, yes. there we go. Oh, you there you are. Do you want it in English or...? No, that's perfect, thank you. Yeah, you yeah, yeah you thank you. One. And with that, we were back in travel mode to host 15 amazing, brave travelers on the World Tanning Voyages Morocco group trip. Marrakesh, here we come. And for the third time, and for the third time in our respective travels, we can say we're back in Morocco, and this is gonna be something else. It's like it's like now a warm fuzzy glove that has been ramshackled by COVID, but we're at a point now where tourism's back, and we're able to express our, our feelings of warmth, gratitude, and welcome to Morocco. I'm still super excited, even though I don't sound it, because I'm so tired. It took, I don't know, three layovers to get here. This is travel in the current world, and I'm so happy for it, because we haven't been here for three years, and we had two canceled trips here, but I'm still so tired. I'm ready for my Riyadh bed. Arriving at a place in the middle of the night leaves you with a sense of excitement of what you're going to see when you wake up. And when we did, look out. It was something else. Everything that we had come to know and love about Morocco was right in front of us. So 
Welcome to our preparation for our group trip. This is the part that we get to actually have a whole lot of fun. It's not, it's not that we don't have a lot of fun, but shopping in Marrakesh is one of the best things that you ever want to do. And for us, getting our little goodie basket for everyone is going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun for us. We like, we like, this place just like turn, turns alive when you start shopping. This is more quality yeah, okay. and more bigger. Well, I don't need more bigger to That's be honest, fun. but okay. Is. Can you put it on me? Yes. yes. Wait, I, wait, 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 I share your size. Okay. Well, mine's been washed a lot. Okay. Oh, that's really big. Oh, this is very, very good. I don't know if I want it that this big. This is more expensive, but okay. more time you wait with me, no problem. <laughs> Here's the thing about shopping in Marrakesh. It's kind of a game. They want to make as much as possible, and you want to spend as little as possible. But like Vegas, ultimately the house always wins. Because no matter what price the merchant offers you, the tourist, it is never the same that a local would pay. So, how do I look? Right. Look, after, after you put it like that, you see him, look. <laughs> she looks better look. on her than me. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to take a picture of her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these guys just took off the shoes. Where's the, bro wait, where's the broken part? And they're convinced. This it's original, good shoes. Yeah, it's it good is a good quality. shoe, yeah. This one, look. It's smarty, it's probably. Yeah. Look. For more in fabrication, new one minute. And this to me, that's good. Fiction, fiction. I'm getting my shoes fixed. You're getting your shoes fixed. You know, this is part of the experience. Don't say no. <laughs> Look at that. You're flying blue all over it. Say bara. So, how do you fix? Yeah. Yes. Wait, wait, how much is this? No problem. No, no, come no. young. Now, while we were on our way to the next stop, we got a test of what being a foreigner in Marrakesh feels like. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Never did you think you get your shoes. I'm gonna be flying with those shoes now. You have to have your wits about you, and you may be sucked into a purchase you were not planning on. I love those shoes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What is that? That's if they're burning shoes. Gudu, gudu. If you're gudu fly. But we were game for the unknown, so we just rolled with it. So this is what happens when you walk down the street and someone just takes off your shoe. Yes. Brand new shoes. Brand new shoes. No, you, you didn't need them. <laughs> it's like a protective cover for your shoes. It is. So it's gonna last like a bit, an additional. Yeah. Oh look, and they're getting whiter too. <laughs> they didn't even know. And with that, I had my newly sold chucks on, and we went back to our day. Six. So I. The next step in the goodie basket is a change purse so that everyone has something little they can carry around with them to put their money in while we're here. Um, I love these. I actually will buy a couple extra for me because Will and I use them as wallets in our travels. They're so much easier and they have less material than a kind of big clunky wallet. So I get a variety of colors and they also say Morocco on them, which I love. We're getting 15 of these and I need you to comment and tell me what this is. What is this, guys? It's not a hairbrush. I know someone's gonna guess it, and if you already know, you can't guess. It's only people making guesses. Okay, and this one. What is this one? It's not a covered with spice jar, okay? With having almost 30 videos to date from our adventures in Morocco, we do feel like this is our second travel home. And with that, we sometimes get to run into a follower or two of the channel, which I'm not going to lie, is a lot of fun. If you see us walking through here with our group, just wait. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for following the channel. Thank you. We're going to have more from this time here. We're going to do more vlogs. It's, it's really fun to shoot videos in Morocco. Because people are so nice. And it's, you know. All right. Bye. Have a good day. I love Morocco. People are so nice. But it was time to finally get a little shopping in for our own home. Our living space and friendship needed a little Moroccan color. It's getting hot fast, right? I heard you guys, had, it was really hot here the last couple weeks. Yeah. Super hot, like abnormally hot, right? Yeah, yeah, abnormal. Yeah. Now it's getting to the normal. Now it's getting more normal, right? All right, let's get some shopping. Okay, in. we're gonna get just a couple. So you like? There's very few opportunities we get to shop just for ourselves. And this is gonna be one. Yeah, so normally, so what we're doing now is we're buying gifts for the guests on the group trip, but we need a couple pillows for the boat, so we're gonna do a little shopping for ourselves as well. Um, I don't know, what do you want? Remember we bought a rug like this last time? We did? It's in storage. There we go. 
if we have a house again like someday. Else. <laughs> how much are these? Are these a varying price or how much are these? Normally starting with 220. Okay. But if you take a few of them, it will be 180 directly. 180 if I take yeah, a few of them. from two or three. Okay. So, okay, you pick one style and I pick one. Okay. How does that sound like a That's good deal? Cool. Is it just as busy now as before COVID? Or yeah. It, so it's, yeah. it's the same? It's the same. Oh, That's good. good. We have a business that is depend depends on tourism too. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a travel company. That's good. So we understand what you guys are going through because we had no business also during COVID. So I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't really like pink. I'm just not sure about the pink. You know, it's not really my thing. You can go with like a, <laughs> like a terracotta. <laughs> I don't really like pink. Why would I get pink? <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate my humor. <laughs> Why well, I'm using pink. Who would want pink? Ugh. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, this is this is the one I'm picking. This one looks more Moroccan to me. But, oh, look, this is kind of cool because they kind yeah, of match cool. with different yeah, colors. Yeah, we'll go with those two. Are they the same size? The same size. 50. Okay. And as we picked up the last of the goodies for our guests, we then went for a little adventure on our own. It was off to a corner of the Medina where all things leather are created. And in this case, we were laser focused on the one and only Moroccan poof. So we are now heading towards something that is a little bit unique for us. We've done a lot of things here in Morocco, but one of the things that we have not yet done, one of the things we have not yet done is we are heading towards a poof manufacturing location. Manufacturing, like, like it's, a, it's a factory. It's actually all done by hand, and we're super excited to see what this thing looks like. If you're wondering what a poof is, it's a versatile piece of furniture that fits almost anywhere and is a great storage solution for the off-season clothing which you have no place for. And here in Morocco, they are everywhere. They are made in three different types of leather. Cow leather, which is quite tough, goat skin, which is much softer, and the softest, and of course the most expensive, camel skin. Wow. How they became when they finish? It's yeah. this one. Here it is. Ah, this so is the, the goat skin. So wait, does it start like this and then he yeah. cuts it? Yeah. But this feels thinner. Oh, he puts something on the back of it. So this is step one and he cuts it and then he puts something on it, right? Yeah. This stuff? So that's a kind of uh, fabric. Oh, okay. And then he puts it Just to protect the leather inside. Okay. Does his back hurt? This hurt here? Yeah. No? No? Or get hands? Because I work on the computer like this yeah. and my neck hurts, so it looks like that would hurt. One, Step two, two, three, three and times around. Here and and it is. It's pretty pretty now. After they take it to the, to the okay. women's. Making a poof is painstaking work that is performed by seasoned artisans who day in and day out work on their craft for a product that can transfer a room from a cluttered mess to an organized beauty. We're doing a comparison because so I need to know the difference between the machine and the artisans. <laughs> so this is done by hand and it's yeah. really thick and you yeah. said the machine can never do this. Never can do it. And then this is done by a machine. Yeah. Look. Yeah. You get to see the stitches. <laughs> All right, how many poofs do you have in your house? I have four. Four? Yeah. All right. At this artisan location, they do not just make poofs, but they also create by hand the most incredible Moroccan footwear. Three types, goat skin in the cover, the inside with lamb leather, and, and the bottom, it's human. camel leather. Oh. <laughs> Stop, camel leather. <laughs> this, <one, laughs> this one, it's the Berber style. You can wear it like shoes and yep. slippers. I love it. This is, they call it Berber Adidas. Berber Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> Here in Morocco, leather is used in all aspects of footwear and everything is super comfortable. It's an nylon from car seat belt. It's so recycling. Oh, wow. You see, you can touch, sir. Yeah, that's cool. It's from a car seat belt? Yes, nylon from a car seat belt. He takes this, right? Like this? But he takes like the piece that looks like it's nothing left of the seat belt. He pulls out like the twiny pieces. And then he uses, Smell this. what is this? Wax. Ah, and oh, then yeah. he uses wax on it. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so smart. Smell it. It's so yeah. smart. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. is this how the shoes have always been made like yeah. this? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So how many shoes, how many, how many shoes will this make? <laughs> 30 pair? More, no. More, more yeah? More, more. Wow. More than 100 
So if I find some sea belts, I should bring them back to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I think I don't know. If you think we are not crazy or busy enough with boat life, being parents and running a group trip, we are now dipping our toes into something we have never tried before. Yes, involving poofs. So now we're at the point where we have to make some serious decisions because we're not just here to look at how they're made, but we're also going to do something different. We've never done this before. We're going to have a flash sale, and it's going to be over by the time this video is up, so sorry. <laughs> However, if you watch us on Instagram, you may actually be seeing this already as it, as it happens. And if you have a poof already, send us a picture of your poof in use. Right. So, so we're going to go ahead and get these handmade poofs, and we're going to go ahead and just have them brought back to the United States via Avalon. So it's going to be under tender loving care. And then she's going to send them to anyone who wants to buy them. Um, we're trying to decide what we're going to get. Yeah, so how how would he fold this if he needed to mail it? How small can it yeah, go? Yeah, what are Envelope, right? You see, we need to have a good quality of letter. Yeah. When you open it, it goes back as it Yeah. Is. Okay. Okay. So, All right. How many people can sell? I don't know. We, how many patrons we hundreds. get? We, we get yeah, <laughs> hundreds, <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's time to buy a house. We sold a house. Yeah. I don't want a house ever again. It's too much work. Although I moved on a boat, and a boat's a lot of work, so. <laughs> A house is a piece of cake. A boat is more work than a house, yes. We should have worn a boat. But we've seen how leather Six. and the boat no way. hair does not, they don't really react to No way boat. leather on the boat. There's no way. Now the fascinating part about being in the Marrakesh Medina, in case you have not figured it out yet, is everything goes. Wait, look what just showed up. We <laughs> dinner. Got, we got dinner. And with that, there was an unexpected delivery person that came up to us. We make slippers of leather chicken. No, you do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't say that without a group. You're more vegetarian. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so these this vendors here, they, they, they walk in the market because, you know, uh, shop, come to sell to people because the people in the shops here, they spend most of the, it's right, not, there is working. not, no hours, there is no, uh, no work right, hours, right, so they right. come here at 9, sometimes they're here until 9 p.m., yeah. so they buy, they come here, tomorrow would, he would bring eggs, another one oh, would bring Oh, that's so uh, nice, fruits. I wish people would come to fruits, our home yeah. and do that. <laughs> they're going to swim to us? They're they going to swim to us. They do, in the same glass when we get there. No, because last time we were here, we, we live on a boat now. I know, I saw, I yeah. saw the video, we, we, I saw the video. Oh, okay, the video. okay. <laughs> yeah, so we'd live a different life now. Way too much going on here today. How do you like your bed? <laughs> <laughs> this is our bed and we will sleep in it tonight. But here's the thing. Yeah, put this down and get out. I think I want that bed right there. <laughs> 16, so it's... You look like you're in the witness protection program. We sunk, no? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's super dark, honey. Wait, do you want to know the name of our channel? Yeah. So you can see how wonderful you look on film. How many hours does it take to make this? Between four and five days. Four and five days to make that. And how many years has he been making books? Uh, more than 40 years. 30 years. Oh, more, four, 40, more than 40 years. Wow. Wow. He looks, he looks 12. I know, he doesn't look that old. <laughs>